Hello, this is Leah with Scraptastic Patchwork. And this is my very first official craft with me video. This was my very first junk journal that I made. And I have not made anything since. And today I would like to make a mini junk journal. We're gonna make a little mini junk journal that can be a writing journal as well. And I'm going to specifically make this for my sister. She will be coming to visit soon. She and her husband will be fully vaccinated very soon and I will be able to hug her for the first time in over a year. So I thought I would make her a little mini journal and she loves succulents. So I thought I would make a succulent themed junk journal. I am very new to this. That's why I'm calling it a craft with me. I have gotten my ideas and inspiration from very talented people on YouTube. And let me list a few of them that I have watched over the years. Number one, Nick the Booksmith. I, she was the one that I found years ago and I have watched her ever since. She's a brilliant bookmaker. I love what she does. Pam at the Paper Outpost. She's awesome. And then there is a few other ones I'll list because of course now that I'm filming this I can't remember. <laughs> Oh boy, but if you want to truly learn from the best, then I would say go and check out what they do because I'm a baby. I'm a little baby in my talent here. Uh, these are the comic book boards that many of us fabric hoarders use. <laughs> we like to make little mini bolts of fabric on these. So I have a lot of these. I thought what I do is glue a couple together and then I'm going to fold this and that is going to be the size of my journal. This is Fabri-Tac but it's also a great glue for paper as well. So those that make journals and they make these kind of videos they chit chat while they're doing it well I've never been one to be able to talk while I'm creating well I make mistakes if I'm talking so that's why all right I think this is called like a rare or something like that Now I'm going to determine how wide my spine is. All right, so I've decided to make my spine an inch. That way I can get two signatures in there. So now I start to fold that and I have what's called a bone folder. Six and three quarters, four and three quarters. approximately with an inch spine. I'm going to cover it with fabric. So I've cut this so that I have about an inch on all sides and I pressed it about in the middle of the repeat so that the little birds will be on the front and the back and this little guy will be 
the spine and I cut it because I probably am going to be putting something up here so I, I wanted the birds to be off you know down center now I glue it All right, so this is how it looks. That got off center a little bit, but that's okay. I think it's really cute. All right, so I think had I been thinking properly, I probably should have put the spine in first, but um, that's okay, we can do it after the fact too so i have some paper here on cardstock this is from a digi kit on etsy and the shop's name is stacy stories and this is her succulent digi kit so i thought that would work out really cute so i've cut them to fit perfectly right there, avoiding the spine. And then I was thinking I have this. This is a scrap of Tim Holtz. I'm going to glue that in for the spine. Yeah, I think that looks good. This is a very green, 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 but I like it all together like this. Um, and then I have this piece of sari silk and I thought this could be the closure. So I think I'm gonna glue that in first across here. Right across the center. And then it can be tied shut. So I'm gonna glue that in. I'm gonna, gonna have to do some things off camera or else this is gonna be super long. When I get faster, then I can show you everything. But right now, things are taking me because I'm a beginner, a lot longer. So here we have the cover, whoops, with the little tie and before I show you the inside, I want to show you I did a boo-boo with the glue. I think I'm putting too much glue because things are getting out of hand. But I love the papers. I love the fabric here. I love how the tie turned out. And what I think I'll do, I thought about maybe putting this trim here to cover it. And that looks cute. And I still may do that. But I think I'm just going to put a pocket here so that she'll never even know except that she's going to watch this. In that same digi kit, these little cards and the little, the scientific, I think, I, I don't know, can't read that, probably, yep, the scientific name or whatever that's called of these. And I'm going to make these you know, cardstock cards and tuck those in the back. I think that will be my contribution of 
ephemera or little fun things. Otherwise, it's going to be completely... Other than stamping, I'm going to do a, a few stamps here and there. Um, but that is my cover done for now. I also, I don't know if you can tell, but I inked it around here. And I used peeled paint and a little bit of vintage photo. That is what I did to create my little cover. And I have to think about what I'm putting on the front as well. And I haven't decided. I might put this just as an, another little touch on the spine, this ribbon. I have to think about that. But for right now, I think I am going to start cutting my pages. And what I'm using is my coffee dyed pages it smells a little like coffee still so i'm going to cut these down i'm going to make two signatures and i think i'll do 15 pages each signature for a total of 60 pages because this is you double your pages so i'm going to cut these to what i need and then we can um I can show you how I'm going to sew those in. Okay, I did a couple things off camera. One, I made this tag by sewing more of the digikit for succulents onto this tag that was coffee dyed. And then I just glued it here and that in, has made a little tuck spot. Plus I put a little ribbon right there. And then I did a couple stamps. I'm not even that great at stamping yet. Oh. All right. So what I want to do now is put my signatures in. And I've made my signatures. These are all the coffee dyed paper. And I cut them down. My cover page here for my signatures was not a double sided. So I had to glue two together. But I like that. I think it looks really pretty a little surprise and I did ink them a bit so including the, the cover I have 15 pages which gives me 30 each so that is what we have and that will fit in there perfectly cute so Let's sew them in. First, I'm going to punch my holes for my spine. I'm going to do three, three of them since I'm doing a pamphlet, pamphlet stitch. Why does that sound so weird? <laughs> All right. So I bought this tool called the Cropodile because that seems to be what all the kids are using. <laughs> and it's set to 1-8. And this is good because no matter what size book you have, it will fit into its throat here, as opposed to just a regular hole punch. Okay, make my markings first. I'm gonna have two signatures, so two holes, three places. I think having your stitches show on your spine is cool, but in this case, I've decided to, after I've sewn them, I'm going to cover it because I think that with all this green going on, I need a little contrast. Um, so I've made this with some other fabric and a ribbon and I zigzagged it on there. So that will go right there after the fact. And 
for another reason, my birds are off center here and I didn't realize that was going to happen. And I want to put a little element there and with this on there, it will, it will be push it a little bit so that I can kind of fudge it. So then the birds look like they're a bit more in the center. <laughs> anyway, that's my thought. So we'll add that later. I'm going to match that up to my signatures. Now I'm going to open this up so I can see those marks. Yep. Hold this. Same thing. Are we ready for this exciting sewing? I'm going to just use embroidery floss. There's a lot of different things to use, but I have plenty of this, so that's what I'm using. So I guess to measure, you do three times one, two, three, the height of your spine, and I need two of those. One, two, three, and a big darning needle, which I have plenty of as well. Okay. Don't need to knot it. So you go in from the center. I'm going to take this out. Make sure that I'm. Leave a tail. Then you go up, making sure you're like in the same line there. And then you skip the middle and you go back out the bottom. And then you go back through the middle. I do it. Okay. So these little tails now, I can take that needle off. These tails need to be on either side of this middle guy before I tie it. And I want to make sure that I know what I'm doing here. Yep. Okay. Now I can tie it pretty tight. three times. I'm going to leave these for now. Okay, we've got one in. Now I'm going to take my bone folder and train these papers. I do know that this one is closer to the top 
and that is my top. I have a directional paper, so that's how I knew, but if you didn't know, that's a good way to tell. Okay, so now I can take my other strand, go in through the middle, middle hole, hold that, go in through the top, skip the middle, go to the bottom, come out the bottom, in through the middle again, separate these, okay, even my string out a little bit, check to make sure everything is nice. choice the top yep that's a top okay strings on either side tie 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 trim that looks nice in the middle lovely signatures in. I could put that spine on now, which I think I'll do. I'm going to glue that right to the center. I think that looks pretty good. I inked it up a little bit after it dried. So I think it, it gave it just a little tiny bit of contrast enough to give a bit more interest. And as I said, it kind of evened out where my birds were. And here's another thing I made off camera. And I'm just going to put that right on the front there. I tried to make it look a bit like uh, it was rusted. I put a piece of fabric behind it. I put these little brads in. Sorry about my gluey fingers. And glued that down. You can also put these brads right through like they originally were, but I didn't uh, think about it until after the fact. And I put this little image again from the digi kit, Stacy Stories Succulents. And I inked that up a bit behind some fabric as well. So I'm going to glue that right in the center of the birds. Oh, before I do that, because after I do that, I'm going to have to have it be still for a bit. I did one other thing inside. I didn't like that stamp that I had there, that Cherish stamp. It I had kind of stuttered in my stamping. So I just put another little pocket with a stamp that will kind of be a bit like a, an actual book plate where she can put her name or whatever. 
and I sewed a piece of fabric that I stamped too. So that's another little tuck spot. And so let me glue this and then I can show you the finished product. Okay, book is done. All ready to be given to my sister. So the front, we've got this cute little embellishment. And little bird's spine. And the ribbon tie sari silk and the little profile open it up and this little pocket that i sewed and glued i also made these cards and i double-sided them and i made them look old crinkled them and inked them up. As I said, I, I wasn't going to do a lot of, you know, little fun ephemera or whatever. Just a few things. So this first signature, I just have every other page I put a stamp in there. I just did kind of garden and flower themed things and plants. So that's the first signature. And the second signature, same thing. I just did every other page with something little, a, a little stamp there I went crazy with those <laughs> just cuz but that way she has plenty of room to write things and then in the back I have this little tuck spot with another card and this is a little envelope that I'm going to put some succulent seeds in for her and that is it that is all I'm doing to this guy. I'm not even adding anything additional to these things. I'm pretty happy with, I guess that's my second journal I've ever done. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, well, thank you for joining me for this, uh, my very first craft along with me. And I do apologize for how slow I was and also the uh, non-talking, but that's just how it is with me. I'll get better at that too. Hopefully you will have some kind of interest in, in uh, these videos and will watch my progression of uh, getting a little bit better every time making journals and books. Thank you so much, guys. See you in the next video.